Here's a book in a minute. Are you ready? Great. For me, this was two out of ten. I wanted to navigate the story, but raunchiness kept popping out of nowhere while I was trying to mind my own business. I didn't know the book would be the way it is, I swear. The cover looks clean. Moving on from these startling hormones, um, exposition is written with the subtlety of a Norfolk Southern train derailment. In one scene, the character's in a waiting room, thinking about interior design, and then we find out his grandma died burying his mom. Instantaneous infatuation is based on curves. Lots of them in places. The male love interest has always been tall and buff naturally, and um, he used to lie about his age starting at 14 so that he could get with older women, and he only stopped lying when his dad sat him down and taught him about birds, bees, and STDs. The only response to this reveal is a surprised, wow, you started young. Oh my god! There is a mention of Romeo and Juliet being a terrible example of romance, which produced a smile that reached both of my eyes, therefore I granted the story two points. I would grant a little more for the condemnation of systemic misogyny, as well as the healthy amount of um, plot-relevant dialogue between characters. However, the age gap thing and formulaic tropes were a little much for me, so two it is.